So, we hit a milestone and the day has finally come that YouTube have sent me a play button. So, let's... So, yeah, I hit 4K, that's not even close enough to hit a play button, but YouTube started doing a high five thing for smaller channels where they sent we oh yeah, my drip, where they send you sick drip and um, Lego, or it's probably like LIGO actually, so they can put like the YouTube Y instead of the E, but yeah, they send you stuff to promote smaller channels and make you feel wanted, which, you know, Pessimism aside, is, is actually a pretty good idea, do you know what I mean? Unless smaller channels, don't worry YouTube, I'm taking good care of the bucket hat that I totally wanted. It was a bucket hat or a Greg sausage roll, so I opted for the bucket hat. Um, so yeah, today I am going to put together LIGO. Um, don't use your teeth. But at the same time, I'm going to be answering your biting questions. Um... Because it's been a while since I've done a community kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that and putting this together at the same time and seeing if my tiny, tiny brain can comprehend doing two things at once. Um, such biting questions as uh, how many nuggets can you eat in one sitting? I've never, in all honesty, I don't think I've tried to eat. I don't think I've ever tried to see what my upper limit of nugget devouring is uh i've just kind of ate nuggets so really deep down my max is probably the 20 nuggets um not really tried maybe i'll do that <laughs> maybe i'll do that for a video see how many nuggets i can consume in one sitting before immediately needing to be rushed to the hospital <laughs> You know, I thought maybe because the bag was labelled one and this bag's labelled two that I would need to open them in separate order, like do bag one first. The, no, because the first thing that I need is this. Well, the second thing that I need is that, and it's definitely not in bag A. So I've sorted through all of them and I have just one. <laughs> so I just have like a one here. <laughs> There's no other one, like, it's just one. <laughs> it's... It'll come into play shortly, it's fine, right? Let's try and get this started then. Um, so yeah, first first question answered, I guess. Second one, um, what's your favourite drink slash beverage? Well, I mean, I suppose it depends on what kind of drink you're asking me about. If you're asking me about alcohol, it also, again, I guess, depends on what I'm doing. Who I'm with, I guess, as well. Um... Do you want me to put that right there? No, you want me to put that at the front here? Okay. Um, yeah, it depends. If you mean, like, general drink, I would say probably a French vanilla from Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, when are you going to sponsor me? Once I get a real play button? Okay, deal. Um, yeah, or, I don't know, tea. <laughs> I think that's just because it's the thing that I drink the most of because it's... um cheap and caffeinated um however if you're talking about alcohol it's usually uh i would have to say it's usually if i'm going out with certain folks it'll be like a purple rain because but other time if it's just like having a chiller evening it might just be like a glass of whiskey and that'll do um i need a two but is it just a normal two there there isn't there was a normal uh, the, uh, the normal two has been located it's fine don't worry folks um, yeah, so I would say tea feels like such a cop out as well because I'm not tea. Tea is a <laughs> I only drink tea because really deep down I can't actually drink any of the things that I want to drink, which namely is coffee. Uh, I <laughs> I suffer tea <laughs> um, as a replacement for no longer being able to drink coffee. But you know, hey ho. Next one, can I get you, oh god, I've broken it already, can I get you to play F099? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, th the thing is, maybe I'll do something in the future where I actually just, like, play the games that you want me to play. Because as much as I am, like, I will I'll play whatever it is that I want, because at the end of the day, it's my channel, uh, and I do it for me. But maybe I will do something along the lines of, you know, doing 
doing games that use one. Um, even if it's just like, just like a one-off kind of thing, like you get to decide a video. Um, I might make it like a Patreon or a Kofi kind of thing. You know, once I get that kind of stuff like properly sorted out. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I I think it would be it would be nice for you lot. You know, if I actually done <laughs> done some of the things that you wanted rather than like this. Would you eat a chicken nugget for a billion gazillion dollars? What does uh, let's see what's the what's the conversion rate of dollars to pounds right now? One US dollar equals zero point seven nine fourteen British pounds. So, you know, after taxes and stuff like that, I'd probably lose a, a you know a couple of hundred. A couple, yeah, probably a couple of hundred of that gazillion dollars. Um, but yeah, considering the fact that I would eat a chicken nugget for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're beginning to get a bit of rigidity. I hate when things like this. This is... Uh, oh, God. No. This is triggering my childhood anxiety. <laughs> what is the spiciest thing you've eaten? Um, eaten? I don't know. Well, you know, actually, do you know what? I can show you the spice. Ah, it's beginning to take shape there. I don't know why I decided to show you the back of it earlier on. Anyway, I can show you the spiciest thing that I've eaten. Um, it's called mayonnaise. And now, hopefully, that my doctor isn't watching, and don't anyone tell them, <laughs> it's uh, it's this thing called colon cleaner. <laughs> and boy, does it clean your colon! Um, actually, how how much is it? I don't know how much it is uh, on the Scoville unit. Uh, colon cancer? No, colon cleaner, please. <laughs> Yeah, so it's difficult with Scoville stuff. It's between like 50,000 and 250,000 Scoville units. Um, the reason they're so... Because I, I have GERD. I'm not meant to have anything with spice or sugar or any flavour. I'm basically meant to live off of... I would say grass, but that would probably upset my stomach as well. So I'm supposed to just basically never have any flavour in my life ever again. So I just don't... Listen to my doctor and instead do whatever I like. Um, I've had it once before just as is and my tongue went numb. <laughs> but um, what I do is I put like a, a wee teaspoon into like a big pile of pasta and then it just gives me that nice like hot burnt mouth feel. Um, the same reason that I like like pickled onions and stuff like that. Like I, it's the masochist in me. I just love my mouth being in pain. Because it's a different kind of pain. My stomach and, you know, what colon cleaner is meant to do, your anus being in pain is completely different. But, um, no, that's probably the spiciest thing that I've, I've ever had. Uh, and it was a gift from someone. I also have a trough sauce, but that that that's, that was done so quickly because it was very tasty. Again, don't tell my doctor. Uh, next, now that you've been making videos for a while, yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, are there any videos that you're particularly happy that you made or are proud of? I think that's a difficult one to ask because at the end of the day, like, I'm not to sound completely jaded, do you know what I mean? But I I'm happy with all the videos that I've made because there's an alternate timeline of me who's never made any of those videos and has already given up on YouTube uh, and doing anything. <laughs> that version is this one. Um, who's kind of just like given up on doing YouTube and, and has just kind of not bothered anymore. So every time that I do make a video, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm still doing it. Um, but like being particularly happy with... Um, Obviously the animations, I'm always really happy with the animations that I do. Even if some of them aren't as well received or as popular. Um, I really love Life Blue. That, that's, that's like... That's my first bit, I guess. Like, I, I really love Life Blue. Uh, <laughs> I really love Life Blue energy and the weird <laughs> culmination of, of bits and scenes. The other thing is, is like, whenever I do something new i'm really happy even when it it might not you know be fleshed out or look necessarily good or well done i'm always happy to do something new and 
everything that I did with that video was completely new. It, for instance, going out into public to shoot footage, completely new. <laughs> um, I don't know, like I, I like the new, the new Pokemon series that I did because, again, that was like it just a very, a very different format of what I of the kind of content that I usually make. So I was happy with that as well. I don't know, like I'm saying, I, I know it sounds kind of twatish, being like, <laughs> everything I touch turns to fucking gold. But, um, no, I'm, I, I'm just glad that I'm do I'm still doing it quite a while, as you put later. Um, because I probably would have given up on it by now if, if I wasn't the person that I am now. So yeah, I'm happy with a lot of the stuff. I don't think there's any that I'm necessarily disappointed in how they turned out. There is a lot that I'm kind of like, I know that I could have made that better, but I'm still happy that it was made. Can we see your katana? No. What was the most expensive thing you've bought or ever considered buying? Was it your katana? No. <laughs> No, it was actually my PC. As much as it's, uh, you know, not a not a great computer or anything like that, um, that's the most amount of money that I've ever spent on anything. Um, it's it was about I think it was about five hundred and fifty pounds. Which, if you go back to our dollar to pound ratio, you figure it out. Um, I think everything in, in total because I kind of went in a bit of a money splurge, which was like. A proper PC. I had to buy a monitor. Um, I got a ring light. I got a webcam. I got a keyboard, a mouse. Like I got all the things that I required in order to kind of do this with better efficiency. The other big problem I had is when I was making animations, I was on a couch, cross-legged, with a tiny little tablet and a laptop at the other side of the couch, hunched over, and was causing me a lot of pain. So I kind of bullshitted myself into being like, oh, but it's it's going to be helpful for your back too. <laughs> so yeah, probably, I would say the one item, the PC, the whole shebang was, you know, just getting a uh, terrible subpar, cheap for most people, set up. What's your favourite game that you've streamed? Um, I don't know, obviously most of the streams lately have been like, uh, have been Pokemon doing nuzlocks and stuff like that um i don't know what i liked and even though if this is the problem i'm like oh i like doing that and then i just don't have enough time to stream i like the ones where like you nuggets were able to interact with it like when we played um like darkest dungeon or we have like a few stints where we played jack of box um or jack in the box jack box um yeah like those i liked i really liked elden ring because it was the because all of us kind of designed designed trots knee deep, um, so I liked that. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I like that. Maybe when the DLC for Elden Ring comes out, we'll we'll revisit the adventures of trots. But unfortunately, I got COVID and ended up playing. Thing is, is I played all of Elden Ring, but I don't really remember because <laughs> I was terribly sick with covid what inspired you to make your channel uh i don't know hatred <laughs> uh no um what inspired me to make my channel i don't know i just i kind of saw a bunch of of people i'm not gonna state who i'm not gonna call anyone out but i saw a bunch of content creators and i was just kind of like i can do that you know? But it was that way where, like, people say that all the time in life, do you know what I mean? You watch a film about, like, a zombie survival, like, you watch The Walking Dead and you're like, idiot, I could have done that. But you don't know until you do it. So, like, everybody says that, but then you actually do it and you're like, oh, yeah, maybe actually I, you know, should give that person a bit more credit. But no, it was just kind of, I was like, okay, I could do this thing. And then had, like, an epiphany one day. I was like, yeah, I could do that thing, but I'm actively choosing not to. And then actively chose to do it. So yeah, I just kind of done it. And I was... Uh, I don't know. It was just so I could have something creative to do. Rather than, again, sitting on my couch, judging other people before I even attempted to do anything. You know? What's your least favourite kind of bread? <laughs> um, any with seeds in it. Because when I was young, I cracked a tooth. Um... 
bite into a sandwich uh, and the seed cracked through. Obviously, it wasn't all the seed's fault. It was partially due to poor dental upkeep. And I was also a child, so it was fine. It was a baby, it was a baby tooth. But uh, yeah, ever since then, I've been paranoid about <laughs> seeds and bread. And also, like I like, I like texture with food, and I don't like my soft bread being tarnished with seeds and all that other stuff. Uh, plus, here in the UK, it's like, do you want white bread? Do you want brown bread? Or do you want seeded bread? And I just always get white bread. If, I, if I, you know, on the rare occasion I do get bread. What's the origin of the name Tofu Nugget? Um, like all great Scottish stories, it starts by being pished. <laughs> yeah, I was, we were kind of pished and we were in McDonald's and I was having chicken nuggets and we asked ourselves the question of how come, because again, I don't know if this is different in other countries because we all have names for different things, but here they're called chicken nuggets and then we have this thing called fish fingers. So we had the debate of how come these are called chicken nuggets and these aren't called fish nuggets. And then we got onto the topic of, I mean, what if you did it with steak? Would it be a steak nugget? Or would it just be a horrible food that nobody really should have? Um, and then we got onto the topic of what about vegetables? How come it's not called like a, if you'd done like, I don't know, a slice of pepper, would that be a pepper nugget? Is it the batter that turns it into a nugget? And then we asked about tofu and my name is Christopher and I would get called Tof in school. I would actually get called Tofer and I hated it uh, by certain people in the school, one of them being my guidance teacher and repeatedly told them that I hated it. And then it just kind of all melded together as a witty, unpronounceable name that no one likes and I'm now stuck with it. So yeah. <laughs> what game are you looking forward to the most in 2024? Um, I'm not going to say it because every time someone says it, it gets delayed a day. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so obviously, but um, hmm. I don't know. Dragon's Dogma 2. Because I loved Dragon's Dogma. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't know. In all honesty, it doesn't seem like it's that big a year for games. That at least that have been announced for me. Um, there's a few that I'm wanting to get. Around. Again, more sort of indie ones. Like that Nine Souls game that I played. I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, Sucker for Love 2 potion craft when it finally gets updated there's a few games that i'm like interested in but, but yeah like big games that are like coming 2024 not overly no what's your favorite kind of cheese uh i'm not really a big cheese guy um if i'm being super honest um because the, a lot of the kind of fancier cheeses to me just taste like off milk um and it kind of puts me off of it but um, if I have some, if I have some nice bread, then uh, I would probably get in. Um, yeah, if I have some like nice bread to go with it, I would probably get a Cavenberg, uh, a Cavenberg, and um, and just go dippies. But yeah, not huge on cheese. I th the thing is, I don't want to stay the stereotypical like, oh yeah, cheese slices or American cheese. But I, you can just kind of put in anything, really, so <laughs> it's difficult to say otherwise. Does this seem ski whiff to anyone else? <laughs> okay, well, apparently we're done with that and we now need to start in a completely new structure. Is this what we need? Yes, this and this. Good to know. What's your favourite meme of 2023? I'm not... You see, this is the problem that I have with... Meme culture, I guess. Um, it's just too quick. By the time I figure out what what people mean when they say certain things, it, it's already dead. And I'm just too late to the party, so I just don't really bother with them. <laughs> There's certain like things and stuff like that that, you know, I still like my my one of my favourites is it's fucking windy. I love that. And if you've ever seen the Anakin Panikin one, whew. But yeah, like memes of the year and stuff like that. Nah, it, it goes by way too quick for me to even be close to trying to stay up to date with what's going on. Would you rather 
have to walk barefoot for a week that you're working or have to go shirtless for a month um probably barefoot <laughs> no nobody wants me kicking about shirtless for an entire month especially me i live in scotland do you know how quickly i'd catch hyperthermia how big is your credit card debt uh big <laughs> No, uh, my uh, debt that I owe in general, yeah, pretty big. Um, don't get into debt, all right. See if you can avoid getting into debt. Avoid it at all costs. If you, in the case of myself, become homeless and have no choice other than to fall into debt, then yes. But don't actively get into debt if you can avoid it, because you then just spend the rest of your life paying debt off and there's nothing more demoralizing than going to work and making nothing out of your experience there i mean yeah it fits flush but it doesn't connect i must have to connect all the side bits so you can sit to the side for just now if you could have a conversation with one person be they real or not who would that be uh i need to make this twice pale king because <laughs> i have question i have a question a single question and i'm not going to say what the question is because i've been mulling it around in my brain as to whether or not i maybe want to do a video on it in the future but i have one question <laughs> so i would want to ask them that one question <laughs> and be done with it <laughs> i'm not uh <laughs> for all the other people that are like wow i would have wanted to speak to like hitler or something <laughs> For me, I, I don't know, I understand the whole concept of like, learn from the past and all that kind of stuff, but I mean, I couldn't pick. There's so many like, different things from the past that you could learn so much, you could garner so much knowledge from, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> I was putting all of the wrong things on. Does James know his lore, and what's his favourite colour? Also, die James, you're cool. <laughs> Well, Dean, I feel like it. I feel like I'd be taking away the limelight. So, do, do you know what, James? You you can, you can handle this one yourself, all right, bud. I'm gonna go get a drink anyway. So, you just you just tell them whatever it is that you you want to say to them. I'll 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 be back in a minute. I'll move the chair out of the way for you as well. There, there, there you go. I didn't say to brew the kill. Um, yeah, there, there's your answer. Can we have a sneak peek at the Hollow Knight movie? Y you know, as much as I would love to give you a peek, no. Um, <laughs> and I mean, and I don't mean that in a bad way, because obviously you would be the first to see it. But uh, no, you can't have a sneak peek. Why? Because in the coming months, I will be really seeing sneak peeks of it um, periodically as and when I see fit um, so yeah, no you can't see anything just now but safe in the knowledge that there'll be stuff coming out uh, at some point in the future, this year 2024, 2024 is the year of change nuggets so now we can put these bits at the side and then we can clamp this down right, clampity clamp <laughs> We can break it in the process. It's fine. Don't worry. It's just leg mo. It can be fixed. We can build it stronger. What is your favourite kind of bread? <laughs> Caesar obsessed with the bread. Um, garlic. <laughs> is that is, is that a sufficient enough answer? Uh, I like me some garlic bread. No, I like um, I, I don't know, just a tin, just just a tin loaf really. I like. I really like. I don't like sliced, like pre-sliced bread. This is actually coming together. I don't like like pre-sliced bread because I always feel as though it's too um, 
again, I don't know about other countries. Here in the UK, you have bread in like three different sizes. You've got bread, you've got medium, and you've got toasty. And they go from like uh, to slightly like uh, to I suppose adequate. And I would usually, if I had to get sliced bread, because you know the poverty line, um. I would try and get toasty, just because it is thicker, and ironically, given the name, it toasts better. Um, but yeah, I really love sliceable bread, uh, because I like sandwiches, and if I ever make French toast, I like big, thick doorstops worth of French toast. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just plain old sliceable bread, or garlic bread, or sliceable bread with garlic butter on it. Anyway, Lego, when are you making a Minecraft Let's Play? <laughs> Followed by Fortnite. <laughs> um, Minecraft? I don't know, but I can't be bothered making anything else. And I probably when I have someone there to tell me how to work it, because I I'm aware of the Minecrafting. I'm just not aware of what the difference between this block and this block is <laughs> in the game. Fortnite, never, because it represents everything that I hate about this generation, video gaming in general. <laughs> so, no, I will never play Fortnite. If I ever play Fortnite, I have been replaced, okay? It's no longer me, it's a skinwalker wearing my face. <laughs> It is some kind of reflection shadow demon. It's not me. Fortnite ever goes up, it is not me that's playing it, okay? Don't call anyone because you're sending them to their death. It's over. I'm gone. <laughs> so no, I won't be playing Fortnite. <laughs> what is a fond memory you have of talking with us on the server? In case you don't know one other person who isn't in the server that's watching this video. Um, I have a Discord server with lovely people in it. If you want to join it, the, the, it'll be in the description. Um, fond me I don't, it's so hard to pick because I'm, I, would, I would say I'm very fond of when we're just having a normal conversation and it gets completely derailed. But that would be every time that we, you know, meet up in Discord. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like when uh, I like when there's community stuff, and I, I I love that you lot are. It's got really deep down. The moments that I like have got nothing to do with me. I love seeing that there's just these random people from across the planet that I've never met, who have never met each other, and you are all pleasant to each other and get along, and everything's great. I'm very proud of all of you, without me having to have any involvement, because. I've tried to be part of communities in the past, and they're fucking horrid. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm more... My fond memory is just of you lot getting along, you know? And that's basically about it. It's mushy and pathetic as that sounds. If you had to represent yourself as an animal, what animal would you be? Um, I don't know. Something that you lot can't loot. Which is which is impossible, actually. Uh, I don't know, a turtle, <laughs> an earthworm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I feel as though that's a better question for you, <laughs> for you lot to answer. What kind of animal am I? <laughs> and you, if you had to pick one, <laughs> because in my, I'm just play. I'm like, oh, no, I just I need to say something that they. <laughs> Or I just go full hog into it and be like, right, okay, what what will turn out the fucking hottest fan art? <laughs> so no, you pick uh, and leave <laughs> and lead, let your brain lead you down whatever path it leads you. Right? <laughs> will you open an OnlyFans? Yes. When I get to three million subscribers, I will one hundred percent open an OnlyFans, and you will get to see all the dirty. Do you know what you'll get to see as well? You'll get to see all of the uh, November videos uncensored. <laughs> um, yeah, three million. I'll start on OnlyFans. Not, not joking. Not funny. He he ho ho. Jokey. No, I'll start on OnlyFans at three million. Um, <laughs> I will take. <laughs> 
I will take people's money for anything, okay? <laughs> um, and the final question, just in time for me to hopefully not undo all of my progress by smashing this together too hard. Come on, work with me here. Just get, you just need to work in a few, you just need to help if you could see any of it. You just need to work in a few at a time and then squeeze. Um, have you been enjoying your time making videos? I have, very much so. Um, I honestly like, and again, not as a, not to be too sappy, but genuinely making videos, I haven't been happier. Um, look at that. I actually, I actually really like it. Thanks YouTube. I know that usually I take the piss, but thanks YouTube. It's a nice wee, a nice wee gift that you sent. Um, the, the hat, I, I appreciate the hat. This is, I'm not saying that it uh, diminishes the hat. Just, I think this is nicer than the, than the hat. Some, some people really suit bucket hats. Just maybe not everyone. Okay. <laughs> Watch every one of my videos be flagged from this point on. <laughs> um, yeah, I've honestly been never been happier um, in my life. No, I've I'm I'm really happy doing stuff. Wow, words are great, huh? Yeah, I'm truly a wordsmith. I'm really happy being able to do creative things as I dictate. Do you know what I mean? It's my channel, I can do whatever the fuck I want. As I said earlier, like, yeah, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to doing um, videos that, you know, use, you, you lot specifically want to see, but at the same time, it's my channel and the purpose of it is for me to be happy and me to be enjoying myself and having fun doing wee things like this or playing certain games or doing animations and stuff like that. And the subplot is is for other people to enjoy it, but at the end of the day, it still is me, you know? No matter how much people are like, oh, play Fortnite, I, I won't play it because I don't want to play it, you know? Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed making videos. This, I know, last year, I didn't like 2023. <laughs> 20, 2023 wasn't a great year. Uh, for many reasons that we won't go into because this video has already been dragged on. Um, yeah, 2023 wasn't great. I'm really hoping to make 2024 fantastic in my eyes and, and hopefully you lot will enjoy the kind of content that comes out. Um, and, you know, I know we're at the start of the year and there's already been some new things like me opening Pokemon cards and doing stuff like this, do you know what I mean? It's me, it's me as I said earlier on, like just experimenting and doing different stuff and, and seeing how I enjoy it and things like that. So yeah, I'm I'm still really loving making content. Um, and really deep down, the only... You'll know I'm dead when there's no longer videos going up. Uh, or if I ever play Fortnite. So... <laughs> With that lovely message in mind, thanks everyone. Um, really, because at the end of the day, it's not, I know it's not I know it's not an official play button, but it's the only play button that I need um, because you lot got me to get this. It clearly got me enough recognition from YouTube to send me it. So thanks a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video to some extent. If you did, bat the subscribe button, like the video, keys your banner in the section down below, all that jazz. And I'll catch you nuggets and whatever the f*** it is that I'm making next. Alright? Cheerio, bye.